customization and, and customization, something we touched on a bit. And Ian, from, from your perspective, you, you're helping on that monetization deal. Does hyper-personalization just create a bigger headache, right? Because if everything is personalized, how do you create that seamless experience from I see the content to I can be converted you know, in, a, in an advertising form of model? Yeah, I think, well, it, going back to what you guys were saying around the, you know, there's so much content out there. It seems to be, you know, a big issue is around the discovery, right? So there's some cool technologies now around, you know, voice. Maybe that's going to be something that's, you know, able to provide that opportunity, you know, discovery. I saw Comcast talking about how they've got uh, screens that they can do in, in their UI on, on uh, Xfinity that, uh, that don't actually exist as part of the journeys that they build. But once someone says, you know, I want a comedy, it's based in New York, it's with Alec Baldwin, the moment you do that, all of a sudden, all those movies can come up. So I think that will be a key piece to monetization, which is, you know, how do you, how do you personalize that? You know, so it's not necessarily from the, you know, high level of what I need to now personalize for every single person, but it's actually each individual coming out and saying, I, you know, this is what I want to, to achieve. And do you see, a, is there a limit in personalization? Is there a line in which, because you've always got personalization versus protection of customer data. Yeah. Do you see that there is a line at which the customers will only accept so much personalization before they start to say, well, hold on a second, yeah. you know everything about me, right? Yeah, I mean, I kind of see it as, as two different models, right? There's the a premium based, you know, subscription model where I'm paying for something. And I'm kind of expecting that that experience is now going to get better and better, right? Uh, you know, I pay for Spotify, pay for Netflix. I'm happy that they're knowing me more and more. I think it's more on the, the ad-based models where you don't actually always even realize how much, you know, the average consumer is not necessarily always realizing that that data is being collected on them. And then it goes to, you know, other websites and things like that being, you know, going on. So I think that's where it gets a little bit of the, the creepier feel. But I think from the, from the, you know, CSP service provider perspective, they're always going to be on that premium based service. So I think they've had some challenges, I think, that sometimes they, they touch, they, they try to get into what that ad based economy looks like uh, because there's so much out there with, you know, Google and Facebook grabbing so many re revenue, ad revenues. But I think if they stick within the, you know, premium service like a Netflix or an Apple, they're in a safe place to, to leverage that data. And, turn it and, and hope you're saying, you know, do a lot of work with brands on content. Personalization is important, customization is important. Is there a line at which you can get into, okay, this is now too much personalization? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you see customers, or, so, do you see brands saying, like, actually, we want to personalize, but there's only so much we think our, our customer will accept? For sure. So, one of the ways that we think about personalization and kind of like what's acceptable. Um, to consumers at this present time is based on the marketing funnel. So the higher up they are in the funnel, the more like creepy it feels to have an ad pop up with your name on it. Um, but you know, as you go down, it becomes welcomed because it actually is enhancing their experience all around. Um, and so I think it's a delicate balance. Um, you know, I think it definitely has pr been proven to like fully capture someone's attention. Um, but you have, there's a, there's that balance of like capturing their attention and then scaring them away. And so, 